and we're back we have made it to december during the pandemic who would have thought we would have been here yeah i didn't i didn't think we would be here in december to be honest but we are here and we have so many stories so many things to say so many things to explore about ourselves and the world that we are currently living in so what better way to capture these moments to be able to record these moments through writing and I am so honored to be on this journey with you. So here we go. And you know how we have to start this session, right? That's right, breathing. When we breathe, all we're doing is reminding our bodies to be present, um, reminding our minds to be able to just be here, reminding ourselves that these moments in capturing and recording and honoring and bringing awareness to the things that we have to say are precious. And so take a second to breathe in and breathe out, giving gratitude to your body, to your mind, to your soul, what's to come, what is to be. here good so let's get into this writing session let's write today I want to start with something a bit more grounding um, a bit more uh, let's say familiar have you ever heard of poetry and conversation yeah I know it sounds weird but it goes a little something like this mommy how do you define love 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 honey that's you. What about the sun? Is it not worthy of love? Yes, honey. That's what the sky wraps their arms around. Hey, what about the ocean? Is that not deserving? Of course, honey. That's what the land reaches for. Okay, but what about the animals? Is it not deserving of love? Of course, that's what the land feeds from. Okay. What about you, mommy? Do you get to receive love? <laughs> That's what you're created for. So you see, friends, poetry and conversation is just that, a conversation that captures the essence of poetry or a poem that captures the essence of a conversation. And this video is just to show you how easy and how simple it is to capture the essence of a conversation through poetry, or through the lens of poetry. And so here's a challenge for you. We've all experienced this pandemic since March. For a lot of us, it's been a moment in which we could practice solitude. For some of us, it's been a very hard challenge in trying to adjust to this new lifestyle. For a lot of us, it's been a moment of different emotions that go through our body, whether we're angry, we're missing people, we're lonely, we're excited, we're experiencing these new challenges, all of these things. And so I have a challenge for you. I want you to create a poem in conversation with the you before this pandemic began. It might take you to look through some pictures to see how you were feeling. Maybe if you journal some thoughts that you had before the pandemic hit, but try to remember as far back as you can before the word pandemic flew from your mouth so easily or even quarantine, what your thoughts were about what is to come. Um, maybe it might be easier to think about January as for most of us, we're always setting the goals for what the year is to come and what we plan on doing. But the challenge is to create a poem in conversation with the old you. As always, it's been a pleasure writing with you. I'm hoping that you take this moment and create as you are all creators and writers of our time. Peace. <laughs>